morning and happy Valentine's Day. It is 9.30 and I just got out of bed a little bit ago. I stayed up until probably almost 2. Um, Travis switched to night shift last night. Last night was his first night on night shift and then he works again tonight and then has two days off. So I was kind of trying to do a little bit of a transition myself and stay up a little later so on his days off I can stay up a little bit later and spend a little bit more time with him and hopefully we can all kind of get on that schedule. Travis and I didn't get anything for Valentine's Day this year. We never really do get anything for each other on Valentine's Day. Usually we'll get a card but um, it just so happens that Valentine's Day is the day before payday basically. We set up an allowance for ourselves and then have like a set amount to go out to eat on and a set amount for groceries and we have like our budget on everything and neither of us have our set amounts left so when we get paid later maybe we'll go to dinner or something tomorrow for Valentine's Day but it's really not that big of a deal to us. Travis did make me a little card note and I just thought it was super sweet because I figured he didn't even remember it was Valentine's Day. But he just said basically sorry for not getting you anything for Valentine's Day. I like getting you things from the heart instead of just going and picking out something at the store. Like he's usually really good about being creative with his gifts. Like painting my KitchenAid for Christmas and, and he likes making stuff opposed to just going and buying stuff or doing something thoughtful instead of buying something. And I appreciate those things a lot more because they take a lot more effort I think and a lot more thought goes into them so I appreciate those things that he does do and just basically says that thank you for everything you do I know I don't say it enough but we do appreciate you and that stuff means a lot to me the other day we actually did the little um, five love languages quiz on my phone just to see like how we communicate best and like what we think loving each other means or showing love means Travis's number one was quality time and mine was words of affirmation like I really like those I love you's for no reason and I appreciate you and you look great and thank you for doing that and this is delicious and stuff like that like that's the stuff that I want to hear and that's the stuff that he says the least he says just because I don't say it doesn't mean I don't think it and I know that but at the same time I'm like I want to hear it <laughs> I need that confirmation. I know it's in there. I know he thinks that stuff. I know he's genuine. I know he obviously loves us. It's just those things I want to hear. Ray's here. Hi, baby. You took Stanley back from her and threw him on the ground? Stanley? Oh, he's so sad. He wants you to love him. It's about 11.30 now, and um, Kay dropped off Ray for about an hour, not even an hour, and then picked her up, and they were headed to Nick's school because he's having a uh, Valentine's Day party, and I made myself a chicken breast for breakfast, and I've actually been FaceTiming with McKenna for a while now. Um, her phone died <laughs> mid-conversation, so she, I think, is going to charge it and then is going to call me back. But I'm just sitting here eating and then gonna talk to her and finish cleaning up the kitchen after that. And then possibly, I don't know what I wanna do. I don't really want to leave the house, but I need to go and get some groceries. I'm conflicted. I don't know what to do. But I do also need to work on videos. So there's a video posting tonight and then tomorrow and then the next day. Because I've been doing so good posting a video every single day since the beginning of December when I started Vlogmas and I was like I can do this let's just keep going and I've just been on a roll I don't know how I don't know why but I like it it's fun Travis will probably be sleeping until two or three so I have some time to get some stuff done but I don't really want to be in our room working on videos while he's trying to sleep I wear headphones and everything but I don't really want to wake him up with the light of the computer either she's finally calling me back <laughs> What? And it failed? How did that happen? Let's try again. Hi. <laughs> we have just spent the last close to three hours FaceTiming. It is 2.30 now and McKenna and I just got off the phone. 
her phone died for a little while and had to call me back, and then my phone died and I had to call her back. But we were just having a really good time catching up and chatting and talking about relationships and family and life. And I just really, really miss her, and I could probably stay on the phone and talk to her all day if she had the time to. It's just really good catching up with her, and I honestly really, really miss her being here because I don't have any other friends like that. Like, I have friends, good friends, acquaintances, like, I have other friends, but no one like her. And I don't know if it's because, like, she was my first friend in Okinawa, and I was her first friend in Okinawa, that we've just connected so well, but I keep up with her and stay in contact with her more than anybody else, I think, because she's, like, the best friend that I have. But I'm going to go see if Travis is awake now because it's 2.30 and I kind of need to go to the store. So I'll wake him up and see if he wants to go with us. Calvin and I are now at the commissary. Travis ran over to the post office. He just drove separately from us because he has to be at work in less than an hour anyways. So being as we were coming here, he went to the post office. We have a package. He's assuming it's probably his uh, phone case that he ordered for the screen protector, but we're honestly not sure. So he went to get that and I'm here to get some groceries. We're just getting some Wix stuff before these checks expire. Just some grapes, blueberries, and then peanut butter, juice, milk, yogurt, cheese. That sort of thing. And then I think we're just gonna wait around until he has to go to work. Tiny little grapes here. Tiny little grapes. Travis is already at work, and Calvin and I just drove out here to Yomatan, um, out here by Tory Station, because um, when I was selling those dresses, there was one that a lady really wanted, and um, she said that she was gonna be gone, she was going on like a TDY or whatever, and asked if I could hold on to it for her for the week, and I was like, yeah, I mean, if you really want it, I can hold on to it for you. She had messaged me yesterday that she was back, and asked if um, I could meet her on base to pick it up. And I was like, oh yeah, sure, I'll be on base around this time because I had to pick up Nick. And then I forgot the stinking dress at home instead of taking it to her. And I was like, I am so sorry. So I was like, I'll probably be home most of the day tomorrow, today, and you can just message me at any time and come and pick it up. And she's like, okay, awesome. So the only time I had left the house today was when we went to the commissary just now and she messaged me when we got there and I was like, Dang it! <laughs> I was like, I am so sorry we keep playing like tag right now. I'm sorry about that. You wanna go inside? So I finally told her that I could just bring it to her because I felt really, really bad. And she's like, are you sure? It's really far. And I'm like, I literally drive out to Yomatan area all the time. Like there's the farmer's market out here that I go to and Kay lives out this way. So I'm like, it's really not that big of a deal. And she's like, well, at least let me give you a few more dollars for for your time and you go driving the distance. And I'm like, if that's what you want to do, but it's, I mean, really, it's not that big of a deal. So I brought it out to her, and she gave me a hug, and she's like, thank you so much for holding on to it for me, and I'm like, you are literally the sweetest person ever right now. She was so sweet and so genuine. She's like, happy Valentine's Day, and I was like, happy Valentine's Day. So we stopped at Lawson. It's literally right across the street. So now he's trying to find something. What do you want? Let's see, there's more stuff in the other aisle. Is that what you want? It is 1248 and I really should be headed to bed soon, but instead I'm laying here watching the 100. Calvin has been passed out asleep on me for probably the last two hours or so. He wanted to cuddle, so here we are. Who am I to say no? We even have Zeke down here, passed out on my legs. I woke him up. I am probably going to watch another episode or two of this and then try to get some sleep. I have to do a whole bunch of grocery shopping tomorrow, but I'm going to head to bed after I watch some more of this show. So for now, that is that, and we will see you when we see you. Bye. And they stay there. And they stay there. And they stay there.